Mm-hmm. All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. And once again, I got to reintroduce a new uh, member of the team, someone who is coming off the bench and getting there, getting their paws wet. This is Smells, the Hardy Stunky. Putting Smells on the team puts us in a position where once again we have nobody in reserve. This is not. <laughs> This has not been the greatest of playthroughs, but that's okay. Stunky is part poison and part dart. So the poison type, we finally have a poison type that is protected against the psychic type. Psychic, psychic type attacks can't hit dark type Pokemon. So Stunky's got that, or Smells has that going for him. Smells attacks. We have Stench, which helps keep wild Pokemon away. Smells might just be the thing that we need on the team because... I don't want to run into encounters every three seconds. It, it's hell. It's hell in this game. Uh, his attacks: poison gas, faint, fury swipes, and slash. When we caught, when we caught uh, smells, he didn't have many attacks that dealt damage. You know how long it took to train him? It took a long time. It wasn't fun. His stats are decent. His stats are decent. All right. Enjoy your time on the the team, smells. Trust me. I did not think I'd be running around with this this band of characters today. How you doing, Perry? Your Pokemon stretched out his body and is relaxing. That's about all Perry has done since since we started on this journey, you know? Okay, so most recently we just defeated the gym leader of the Ecruteague City Gym. We earned the ability to be able to use Surf outside of battle. So I think we need to continue on our path and head. let's head west out of town. Uh, do we have Pokeballs? Let's, let's, let's make sure we have the things that we need before we leave because, you know, I get tired of running back and forward. Uh, is there a move we can teach? I don't want to. I, I kind of don't want to teach teach spells a move if he's gonna just die off but we need we need to give him more moves i think it might be able to learn mud shot would that be beneficial though i don't think so can anybody learn mud shot i see if anyone can learn mud shot before we continue scavenger can i think i'm actually gonna teach it to scavenger scavenger's been putting in the finest of work and i'm really proud of scavenger all right i think we might be getting rid of focus energy finally yeah, let's get rid of focus energy. It'll be okay. Wait, much okay. That's that's a good amount of damage. I'm cool with that. I'm hip to your privy, scavenger. I'm privy to your hip. Here's much shot. All right. Okay, now I'm comfortable. Now we can move on. Let's leave Agritik City. Hey, where did you say you're from? New Park Town. That's the town where Professor Elm lives, right? You've come a long way to get here. Yeah, we actually are a good distance away from uh, from New Bark City. Check the map. Let's check the map. Or New Bark Town. Here's New Bark Town all the way over here. Here's where we are. Hey, look at that. Look at this guy. This guy is here. That's Interdesting. He's on Route 34. He's what's called a roaming Pokemon. If you remember back in, back in the Burnt Tower, we saw those three cat-like, dog-like Pokemon, and by the way, I figured out what the other one was. Lion, Panther, Tiger. That's what it was. He's one of those three Pokemon that, that left the building. They they roam the land now. And if we if we encounter them, we'll be able to catch them. Uh not under Nuzlocke rules though. We won't be able to we won't be able to catch them if they're in certain routes. So we just got to get lucky. We got an old gato. It's medicine. Let's check that out. I think I remember what that is. Just not entirely sure. Let's see. It heals all the status po problems of a single Pokemon. All right, so it's a full heal. It's a very fancy full heal. I don't know if I'm okay with that or not. Let's go. Don't do it. Okay. All right, here's our encounter for this route. I have no idea what route this is. I probably should have checked it. It's a Bulbasaur. I've been asking this entire time for another, for any grass type Pokemon. And we have a Bulbasaur here. We actually need to catch this. We'd be on par with our rival, I believe. Doesn't he have two starters? He has the Charmander and then something else. I don't remember what the other one was. I don't remember the other one, but it's okay. 
Uh, who can I send out that's not going to moitalize this Bulbasaur? Uh, come on, Waste. Waste, I need you to come through for me today, all right? Don't, don't be one of those guys today, Waste. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Not that. That's I can say that much. Not that. All right. Gonna need you to wake up, Waste. Gonna need you to wake up. Don't do much. There we go. Fine, we shouldn't do much because we're bug and poison. It shouldn't do much at all. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. There we go. Good job, Waze. All right. It's two. I'm so scared. Because I think it's at the point where if it does Fury Attack and it hits three times, I think that's it for Bulbasaur. And we can't use Rage. To be honest, I don't know how Rage works. I keep thinking, I keep thinking Rage does one thing and it doesn't. Do I get to call out of Rage? Like, if I don't want to use Rage... Am I done using Rage or do am I locked in until it kills whatever he's trying to hit? How about Knock Off? Knock Off is very weak. Let's go for Knock Off. We're switching to Dawn. We're switching to Dawn. Hello, Dawn. How you doing? There's the powder. Should have expected it. I should have expected it. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. I need you to get up, Dawn. I need you to get up. This is an important battle. Don't do the poison powder, Bulbasaur. That's not cool at all. Come on. Come on. All right, wake up. There we go. Here's a knockoff. Good work. Proud of you. All right, just hold that poison for a little bit, Dawn. I got you. I got you. Dang, the poison doing more than uh, than Bulbasaur's attack were. I kind of, kind of scared that Bulbasaur on the team. Let's try with a. Let's start with a great ball. Let's start with a great ball here. Dang. All right, we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna upgrade. Here's an Ultra Ball for your soul. One, two, three. All right. Okay, finally, I can get a little comfortable. Oh, man. How many episodes did that take for us to get a, get a, a grass type on the team? Let's check the Pokedex. Bulbasaur is the seed Pokemon. It carries a seed on its back right from birth. That, that was a weird way to write that. On its back right from birth. As it grows older, the seed also grows larger. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll name Bulbasaur. This is a female Bulbasaur. So let's call her... This is... This is Victoria. This is Victoria. Why is it in the wrong box? How do I change it so that... <laughs> How do I change what's the current box? Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Let's uh, de-poison. How do I navigate this? Let's de-poison our lovely Dawn. Dawn, you put in the finest of work for this team. I'm very proud of you. Something about our fighting types when it comes to doing Nuzlocke. Something about fighting types really help out the team. I have no idea what it is. All right. I don't want to kick Smells off the team. Smells just got here. So I'm not going to go back and get, uh, I'm not going to go back and get Victoria. Smells just got here. That's not fair at all. Let's see. Can we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're in a battle. It's a Krikatoon! Thank God this wasn't our first encounter. You know how hot I would have been to find out there's Bulbasaur in this route. 
And then we run into a cricket tune. It would have been very hot. Cricket tune's cool, but I would have been mad. That leash life. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Here you go. Ooh, abide. Everybody knows bide in this game. Bide. Rap. Uproar. Is there any one Pokemon with that with that possible move set? Bide, rap, uproar. And then what's the fourth move? What's the fourth most common move we've seen? Let's see. Is there anything down this way? Nope. Just an alternate path. Okay. I've risked so many things today. Anything over here? Oh. Nope. Can't go up that way. Okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Let's sneak past this lady one more time. Oh, Jertini. This is Jertini on this route. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Man, the Jertini would have been cool, but I'm, I'm happy with the Bulbasaur. I'm very happy with that Bulbasaur. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm trying. Oh, oh, he wants to talk anyways. Oh. What you are holding is what they call a Pokedex. I haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Boba. I used to run a Safari Zone in Fuchsia City, but it was becoming out of date with new entertainment options coming out. I decided to go overseas to learn the newest technology and open a state-of-the-art Safari Zone in Cyanwood. It would be more than a coincidence that we are chatting. Why don't we register each other's numbers in the Pokegear? I can give you a call once the Safari Zone is open before I call anyone else. Do you want to register? Yes, please. So we got Boba's number. Uh, the Safari Zone is basically an area that's set up for the art of catching Pokemon. There's Pokemon in, in the wild. They're in captivity. Hang, hang on. They're in the wild. They're in captivity. And you're able to pay a fee to catch them. I, I have no nothing to say to save that. So if you want to... If you wanna, if you want to call Peter, that's up to you. I'll let you know over the poker gear once it's ready. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here's a, a green apricorn. All right. And we're going to end this building right here. Let's see. What route was that? I should probably pay attention to what route I caught stuff on. I caught. Oh, it's a different route. I caught. I caught Bulbasaur on Route 38, I believe. Because we're just now getting to Route 39. We can go back and check. It's it's always it's, it's always possible to go back and check. Yes, I caught Bobos on Route 38. And now we're on Route 39. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, uh, let's run this house real quick. This man. My milk tank ain't giving me milking anymore. This here farm's forgot famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of milk if I feed it lots of berries, I reckon. Our milk even goes out to Kanto. So if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. Uh, there's a Pokemon here called Milk Tank that, uh, they, that gives milk. Except I don't think they're feeling so good. Let's, let's, let's talk to them. They're mooing pretty fine, but I, I, I assume that's something that they can do with no problem in any scenario. What's this over here? What y'all hiding? Another TM12 defend order. You know how many times I needed not one, but two TM12s with defend order? Let's go, let's go look back at the milk tank. Uh, there's another house beside it. I believe that's a house. Like, I shouldn't say a house. It's like a barn storing, storing some of the milk tank. Yep, it's got one milk tank in here. Mumu is sick. She needs lots of orange berries. Mumu is sick. Oh, she says the same thing. They're, they're not only twins, but copycats. Okay. So it's not really our duty, but here's one of the things you can do in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. You can heal Miltank 
by feeding it orange berries. It needs a certain amount of orange berries. I don't know if it's in a certain amount of time, but he does. It does need several orange berries. Now, we only we shouldn't have that many. I don't think we'd have that many. Yeah, we only have three. Three is definitely not enough. Three is not enough. But what you can do is you can take those orange berries and you can plant them in the berry pots, and they'll grow into more orange berries. Uh, you get enough, and you feed them the milk tank. And they'll be healed, and you get a reward. So I think that's something that we're going to do. I'm going to try my best to get this done properly, all right? So what we need to do is we need to plant berries. Let's see what time it is. 12.31 now. It is 12.31 on this lovely Sunday right now. So I'm gonna. I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm only going to start with two. I only start with two, leave myself one for a backup. All right, and then we'll go ahead and water. We'll water them. All right, and they're fine right now. They're fine right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of research and find out, find out how often I need to water them, how how many times a day, how many days, and hopefully we'll be able to heal the mill tank because the reward that you get is actually very great. It's a very good reward. You guys know I'm all about cost cost efficiency when it comes to nest locks because we ain't got a lot of money. We ain't got a lot of money. Well, we got a lot now. But normally we ain't got a lot of money. All right, we're gonna sneak past these gents. All right, are we? Have we reached? Have we reached the next city? Oh, we didn't even get an encounter for this route at all. Let's let's go let's go mend that. Let's mend that. Here's here's a here's an encounter. Who are we encountering? Swablu. Swablu is one of my favorite family lines or, or Pokemon evolution lines. Uh, let's see. We're switching out. We can't. We can't have uh, Perry go. I guess it. Scavenger, you're up. Oh Lord, what's with everyone being put to sleep today? Why is everybody being put to sleep today? All right. As soon as you get up, I need you to catch it with a crunch, Scavenger. It's all on you. Come on. All right, Scav. Come on, Scav. You can't do this today. It's not a good day for it. It's going to try and sing it as soon as it wakes up. It is so nervous. It is so nervous that Scav is going to kill it. It's trying to sing it as soon as it wakes up. Here we go. Good work, Scav. If you need to go back to sleep, fam. I'm okay with it. You enjoy you enjoy this nap. You've earned it. You've earned it. Was that four furies? Yeah. Alright, let's try it. Let's start some all great ball. Cause it actually looks cool with this color scheme. One. Two. Three. Yeah! We got a swap blue on the team, ladies and gents. I like swap blue because I like Altario. Altario is pretty dope. Altar is pretty dope. Altar is pretty dope. Swablu, the cotton bird Pokemon. Its wings bring cottony clouds to mind. It grooms with water, uh, spring water and loves to sit on heads. All right, and it's a female? Perfect. Uh, this is... This is... This is Queen. The swab blue. Oh, uh, oops, excuse me. All right. Now we can continue on our journey. We have just reached Olivine City. All right. Olivine City is pretty dope, too. Uh oh. Oh, don't tell me we're going to get in a battle. We can't get in a battle right now. I'm being hot. You again. There's no need to be alert. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader is in here and is supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Hmm. Boo hoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit of a better trainer. This clown. All right. At least we ain't have to battle him. At least we have to get in a fight with Silver. Let's heal up. And I think. 
I think we might call it a day. Today, today's a short episode. We do have really long episodes. This could be a short one. When we accomplished something, we got two new members on the team. We made it to the next city, and we learned something that we can do to make our playthrough better. We can, uh, we can heal the mill tank. So, so that's a that's a thing. That's a thing that we can do. We're gonna heal up. I might end up switching someone out for someone else. Don't don't act like you guys already know, because you probably don't. You probably don't. Uh, I might switch someone else out and train them up to be where they need to be so that we have a very diverse team. But that's probably going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, I would love to see more. And all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's the subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like Nuzlocke runs, as well as everything else that Alt Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. <laughs>